Hi, my name is Beth and I'm the sewing pattern designer and blogger at Sew DIY. In today's video, we are going to be talking about my second favorite pattern adjustment and that is shoulder slope. When I first started sewing, I never thought about shoulder slope. And then one day I was wearing a top that I had made and it just kept lifting up and feeling awkward. And I somehow realized that the slope on the shoulders was totally wrong. And so what I mean by that is just the angle of our shoulders. So some people have very angled or sloped shoulders and then other people can have very straight shoulders. For example, mine are pretty straight. And after I discovered this adjustment, I really started looking at everyone's shoulders and analyzing how sloped they are, and it runs the gamut. I think there's really not a standard for this, but when you get your shirt or dress, whatever's hanging over your shoulders to really fit that angle, you're gonna get a much better and more comfortable fit. As an example, I'm wearing a sample of my Mary Tang top where I did not make a shoulder adjustment. And you can see it's very slight, but it peaks up just a little bit at the inner neck. And that's because I need this angle to be a little bit straighter. Likewise, if your shoulders were more sloped than mine, you might be seeing your top peaking up at the outside edge. So it's a very subtle, thing, but it's going to make a big difference. And fortunately, it's a really easy adjustment. Well, let's get started. This adjustment really only works if you're making a garment that has a seam line right along the shoulder. If you are sewing something that has a yoke where the seam line is farther forward or a raglan sleeve that has seam lines across the chest this way, then you won't do the same kind of adjustment. So to determine if you need to make a shoulder slope adjustment, you want to make a muslin. I'm going to share the two different scenarios that you might come upon that would indicate you need this adjustment. So we have our handy little model here. And for our first example, we're going to look at a garment that has a very sloped shoulder. So when I put this muslin onto my model, I can see the garment is sitting against the outside of the shoulder, but it's raised up from the neck side. So there's just extra fabric here at the neck. And this means that you need to make a square shoulder adjustment. So to figure out how much of an adjustment you would need to make, I recommend putting on your muslin inside out, and then you can just pinch along this seam line and you can use a pen to mark it or pins and you just want to pin out the excess and you just pin as much as you need to get a really flat seam line against the shoulder. Let's flip it over so you can baste this and then try it on again and you can see we have a much flatter line and this will help everything else in your garment hang nicely. For our second example, we're gonna look at a flatter shoulder line. So let's put this on our model. All right, so this one is a little less obvious, but we have the shoulder seam sitting against the neck, and then there's just a little bit of extra room out here at the end of the shoulder. So like with our other adjustment, I like to put the muslin on inside out and then pinch out any excess. And you can just use your pins like before to estimate that new seam line. So for this adjustment, we are pinching out the excess at the end of the shoulder, and this will increase the slope of that line and give it a better fit. So whichever adjustment you need to make, make a note of that distance from the original seam line to the new seam line. Now you're ready to grab your pattern and make the shoulder slope adjustment. To adjust the shoulder slope on your pattern, you will need your pattern, tracing paper, tape, scissors, a ruler, and a pencil or other marking tool. So let's start out by doing a square shoulder adjustment. And for that, we need to decrease the slope of our pattern and make it more straight. 
So you wanna slide some tracing paper under your pattern and tape it down. And all we do is add a little wedge that's going to change the angle of the shoulder. So you can grab your ruler and mark that distance, whatever you've determined it to be, and then draw a line. And I like to draw it kind of to the seam line. So here's my stitching line and just blend it in to that stitching line because I don't wanna add any distance up here and change the neckline. I really only wanna change the shoulder line. So just be a little careful there. We don't wanna add any distance here or else your collar or facing might not fit as well. Next, you wanna make the same adjustment down at the underarm. And again, use your ruler to mark how far you need, how far you adjusted. So this right here equals this right here, and then blend this into the armhole. And what you're doing is making sure that your stitching line, your seam line stays the same length. And this is really important if you are attaching a sleeve to your garment. If you don't, if you're making a sleeveless shirt, you could skip this part and your armhole will just be a little bit bigger. You'll need to make this change to your front pattern piece and your back pattern piece. And depending on the type of garment, you may need to also make adjustments to your facing. If you're doing this change to the Mary tank top, you will need to make a change to the facing because the facing attaches at this part of the garment. To make a sloping shoulder adjustment, we want to make this at a bigger angle. So again, you'll use your ruler and this time we're gonna mark on the inside of the pattern and we're gonna cut away some of the pattern. So you will just mark the amount that you need to decrease and then blend this in. And we wanna stop kind of at the seam line because I don't want to change the length of the seam line on our neckline. Then whatever measurement this was, you want to do the same over here. So for this example, we're about one quarter inch and you just want to blend it in to your armhole. By making this adjustment at the top and the bottom of the armhole, you're keeping the stitching line for the armhole the same. And this will make sure that if you're putting in a sleeve, that sleeve is still going to fit the armhole. Then you just grab your scissors and you cut away these little sections, just like that. And you can see that we have a much steeper angle to our shoulder. Now you wanna make sure to do this change to your back pattern piece and any facings that are attached to these edges. I hope that you enjoyed that tutorial. I've done a little costume change to show you a version of that same pattern where I made the adjustment to the shoulders and you can see that it just lies flatter against my shoulder. So this is gonna be an adjustment that you notice the most when you are working with woven fabric and when there's a wider piece over the shoulder, if it's a very strappy, thin shoulder, you may not notice it that much and you may not need to make as much of an adjustment. Now, I've seen people who make templates of the slope of their shoulder and they keep it handy and compare it to their printed patterns to make sure that they're always getting a slope that matches their shoulders. I haven't done it myself, but I think it's a great idea. I'll put a link to a really detailed blog post down in the show notes. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. And if you'd like to support the channel, you can buy me a coffee, visit the pattern shop, or even just like and subscribe. I really appreciate the support. Happy sewing.